So Gina Marie and I are getting ready to step in the ring. We're doing it for a good cause. We're doing it for breast cancer awareness. So you gotta go hard or go home, and there is no going home. Tony at DSG Boxing Gym, it's Danny Garcia's conditioning coach. He had me in prime time shape. I mean, there was no plan. If you wanna hang out with the big boys, you gotta put in that big time. Results. I'm still going at it. My, I, I'll always pay homage to them because they opened their home to me, and uh, that's my second home, DSG Boxing Gym. But anybody that ever wants with me, they know I got them hands for days because I got the champ back in me. So I invited my friend T.Y. over so that he could touch on my tattoo. I just want to say thank you so much for coming last minute to come do this tattoo. He's done over 75% of my tattoos and obviously I have a lot. All right, so when I... I'm gonna do the orange and everything over in that tattoo. And I'm tired of looking at the in-between, so I'm gonna start at the shade, like the color and shade. That's a great idea. Great. All I have is a great idea. I ask, I ask everybody. I never cry. I'm just saying. How long have you been tattooing me? I mean, I'm long enough. Okay. Sometimes you be. No, that was at one time. I mean. That's one time, too many. You shouldn't mm. be acting like that at all. Got too many tats all over. So um, my last shoot was with this uh, photographer from New York. Oh my God, the pictures came out so good. I have to show you, like literally, I'm so proud of them. I'm like literally, I'm growing so much. I know, I'm getting a lot of attention on there too. You would never think like something like that's important until you know it's like free networking. Like that stuff is like, it's not important, but it is. Like, people make money off that stuff. It's pretty insane. So, my Instagram has gotten a little buzz, and it could be for a lot of different reasons. I'm modeling more. I'm also more naked. It's opening a lot of doors. I'm meeting new people, networking, and hopefully I can make money off of it one day. You. Nothing we have. I'm in Northern Liberties. I'm about to go spray tan. I'm in the neighborhood. I'll come meet you right after. All right, see you at the pool in bed. All right, Bill. I'll see you soon. Bye. All right. No, no makeup. I came here, no lotion. Ashy as shit, but it's all right. <laughs> yeah, I know the rules. <laughs> I was bronze, looking like a bronze glowing goddess. So, oh, I love yeah. it. I love the way it feels. Thank you so much. All right. It was so nice meeting you. Thank you so much for coming You'll by. You'll see you soon. I appreciate yeah. it. Let me just tell you, I went from pasty to glowing, and that was on fleekage. Yes, hashtag that. Fleekage. Fleeked out. I'm 
So, T.Y.'s love life. It's really hard to explain. He's like a hoe, but like, he recycles. Oh no, she's cut. Why? She was so pretty. Uh, the one with the curly hair, right? Yeah. She was so sweet. She was nice. But then she was like, <laughs> I, can, I can say that. Oh, oh man, that is sick. He's just one of my best friends, and I think we talked about it one day, about maybe something more, but sometimes you just don't mix business and pleasure. Wow, it looks so good. Oh, I can't wait for the other one. All right, um, I guess when you're done packing up and everything, um, I'll see you again soon, because I want the other tattoo. All right. Oh, thanks. <laughs> ah. You need any help packing up? No, I'm alright. Okay, good.
afraid that how this relates to the other girls. Well, she had a, she's still young and impressionable. We're trying to build these girls to like. Right. Uh, I gotta tell you though, Oceana really has a mind of her own. Mm -hmm. She's like stays in her own lane, and I don't think that she can be influenced or swayed by anybody. Um, you know, she just for me, she has a really strong backbone. Her mother is very influential, but for her, I feel like she's here to work, get done her job, be yeah. a model, be pretty, be young, but also she stays in between the parameters. Um, I'm gonna have a talk with her because first of all, that's completely insane. She could have been, been, been killed, raped, raped murdered, raped, yeah. right, tied up, ten guys waiting for it, banging out of her. Yep, you're yeah, right. These things happen every day. You're right. For what? A Louis Vuitton bag. Come on, Steph, Steph. We gotta, we gotta talk. We have to talk about that. I just missed you guys. I haven't seen you in so long. Well, we missed you too. Maybe because you didn't invite us to Miami. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm meeting up with my girlfriends. My two. Mains. I have my girlfriend Natalie and my girlfriend Lisa. Um, we're gonna go meet up for pedicures, and I knew all hell was gonna break loose because they haven't seen me since Miami, and they were going to tear me a new one. And they know how spontaneous I am, and um, I don't know why they were shocked because I'm a crazy girl and I do whatever I want, and I don't care what people say about me. So, live life, YOLO. Is that what it is? YOLO. <laughs> hey, like what? Morning, and what happened was I was at 19th floor. Do you guys know where that is down Center City? No. Do you know where that is? Yeah. So I was there no, with I don't him, know. and he was just like, "Do you want to go to Miami?" And I'm like, "You only live once, so you know." I'm 24. You know. So I have one more year to be good, but you know what? I'm gonna be a Brad doll while all these other girls are boring and like raggedy fans. So that's how I feel about it. <laughs> but when I got it here. You're giving up the cookie for a Louis Vuitton bag? You gotta make sure at least you're secure in the bag. Get yourself a $10,000 Chanel. So what was the breaking point? Was she like, what was the, the deal with the so guy? So I called my friends who live there, I was like, hey, you need to go get this girl. And they're like, why? I don't, she had an issue with her boyfriend or whatever. You know, because if I said this random dude, they would be like, you know, but. Right, you don't throw Nevertheless, out. she ends up getting, to have intercourse with someone and it didn't work out, um, that's probably because the dick was trash. But on another note, I'm not for no Louis Vuitton bag. Like, you're the person that told me you're not really drunk unless you wake up the next morning chained to someone else's bed. Like, yeah, <laughs> so I'm not really surprised. <laughs> Don't bring up last summer, but I mean, it wasn't as bad as it was last summer. But yeah, so he like, before he was like, do you wanna go to Miami? He goes up, goes to his car, brings up a Louis Vuitton. He's like, this is for you. Was so, it, he got you a Louis? Yeah. You think he 
You know, I you don't even know if it's real or not, but I told one of the castmates, they told Angel about it. She's like, I don't think it's real. Um, he said he was the owner of Comcast, which is bullshit, cool because so many he people have me. I think He's the owner of Comcast? That's what he said. And then we found out it was a lie. He went crazy psycho on me because I went to sleep with him. Um, left me in a hotel room by myself. I didn't bring my credit card or anything, you know. So I winded up stealing his visa card and buy booking a ticket with his uh, visa card and everything. Yeah, so, I mean, I blocked the thing, so it's pretty crazy, so, you know, I don't know why you're looking at me like I'm surprised right now. I, mean, I know, I'm not really surprised, but I just don't understand why you couldn't have, like, spent the weekend with your cousin or something a little bit safer. I mean, me and my cousin are arguing right now. Like, okay. You know, it's all that. So just go spend the weekend my with strangers. Everybody knows I didn't know he was my cousin, and, you know, it's one of those things you just have to... No, it's totally it. normal. Everybody does that. Yeah. Beautiful. Why do you do that? I mean, I just beauty. Like she could have been killed. Like we don't know. Like she could have gotten raped and killed. Like God, you don't want to be beautiful. I can handle myself. I got like the Brazilian. What is it called? Brazilian dance. Is that what it's called? No, I don't care what hands you have. Like when you're down there, like you could have been raped and murdered by this dude. Like Natalie's my little um, butter pecan Puerto Rican and. Lisa's my little Irish little cookie, and then there's me that he's my Brazilian. So we all go together, and at the end of the day, I appreciate the support, but they need me to be me, and them to be them, and let me do me. If that makes any sense. I don't know if that made any sense at all, but you understand. <laughs> like, it's not safe. Like, you could have called one of us. Like, don't ever go out and go to Miami and not call one of your girlfriends again. I'm no sorry. Fun. I'm sorry. I mean, I learned my lesson. I'm not going to act like that again. Like, no more drinking. No more going on planes with strangers. Mm -hmm. um, next time, I don't know. Call one of you guys. Yeah, you better. better. Bitches answer my phone calls because everybody's always doing their own thing. I always answer the phone when you call. That's over here so loud. Yeah. <laughs>
we have to give her tough love and tell her, she yeah, you cannot do this. Like, this is, first of all, this is your life. Right. It's nothing for someone to pick you up, throw you in a trunk, chop you to up. I mean, there's girls that get raped every day. I mean, she could have been sh shipped and put on the black market. Right. So, all right, well, I'm really glad you told me. This is a PSA for all those girls out there. Don't meet some random person at a bar and yeah, them, so. you really seriously have to get to know somebody before you share even an intimate space. Like, definitely. You know it's a crazy world. Yeah, that's one word. Like zero dick appointments this I week. Have no dick appointments now. It's official. Like, did she really have to bring that up right now? Like, I know Lisa is like my main one and moms me a lot, but I mean, no. Other than the other day, but we're not gonna talk about the other day. Oh yeah, in front of your grandma's house. Yeah. <laughs> what? I'm oh, bad. Yeah, so. in, the, in the truck. In the truck. Yeah. What's that song? That Hummer song? It was like that. It was the song? Back seat in the Chevy Jeep. Chevy's not the same thing, but in Jeep, back seat in the Hummer. I gotta get it out of my system while I'm young. We'll I can't hopefully get out of my system soon. I have one more year to go. We love you. We love you. We love you, boo boo. I love you, girls, so much. You like these gloves? They're one of my sponsors, Fight to Finish. From New York, awesome guys, big fans of Mob Wives. They've been supporting me from day one. I met so many great people along this journey. I feel so blessed. Definitely. Good. All right. So how was uh, Rich Capital last night? Oh my God, <laughs> I had a ball. I really had a great time.
song is the bomb. Yo, Bridge Capital was lit. Stephanie was out of her mind. I love that girl. What? Her but JJ was everywhere. <laughs> Yo, she killed that twerk contest. And Miss Twerksome, what a beautiful girl. She came in like she was running the place. I loved it. I had a ball. Stephanie was turned up all the way up the night of Ridge Capital. I loved it. She brought it. Had every guy in there looking at her. She was a blast. I saw the photos on Instagram. We like both like all the rocks. Actually, like uh huh. I had a ball. It was a really great time. Thank you for setting that up. We had so much fun. Yeah, how about the girl that was eating the fried chicken? Did you hear about that? No, she was like, this is a chicken. And she's twerking. I'm like, girl, no, you didn't. Bye. Yeah, you're doing great. Gotta keep this. See this glove? I put it down a lot. That's when you get blasted. You gotta always keep your guard off. Absolutely. So, Stephanie was like that white girl that everybody will remember. <laughs> Absolutely. She came in, she did a full split, she went buck wild, yes. And Stephanie hands down won that, she won that John, she won that competition. I don't see color, but Stephanie wasn't leaving there with a lick of weight on her if uh, she won that contest. So with that being said, uh, one of the other ladies had won and uh, Stephanie really showed us what she was made of that night. I think she went to hurt for weeks after that. She might even pulled her back out because she was really on all floors. I like Stephanie, she's fun. But uh, yeah, she definitely has the crown to twerk in. Do you feel like Stephanie and Angel were close? Like close, close? I get the vibe, like, they, like I like to pet and I'm friendly and I'm always like, you know, grabbing butt and boobs. So for me, I don't know what close close is because I'm about that life once in a while. <laughs> I asked if uh, they were. Oh, hooking up? And what was their response? Like, oh my God, like one of them or they were like, no. I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth means I'm hitting that skirt. <laughs> That's what that means. Like, when I say I'm plead the fifth means I'm digging up in there. I'm like, whoo! I plead the fifth is what I got. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I, you know I don't like nobody. Like, I don't like no dudes. And right now I'm focused on my career. But to have somebody around and, like, be able to just have a companion and, you know. Do you know that guy? Nobody will be Oh, yeah, that's my conditioning coach, Tony. What's up? What's up? Come over here. How's everything going today? Real good. You keep it in shape. Always. <laughs> Always. She works hard. That's she right. Hard. She's the real deal. He um, is Danny Garcia's conditioning coach as well. And he puts him, he gives him that work. Yeah. All right, two more hits. I gotta get out of here. All right, that's it. Bye. <laughs> All right, homie. I love you. What'd I tell you about hogging in the gym? <laughs> oh, sorry. No, <laughs> With two pounds. All right. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. I'll see you tomorrow. All right? Keep it moving. All right. Next week on Knockout. Hey, <laughs> nah. Can we go outside? Yeah, I gotta do this real quick. No. Yeah. He's having a freaking breakdown. I don't have time for this at all. No, I'm gonna have a breakdown. I'm so I don't even wanna No, I don't. Whatever she's going through can't affect my job and this photo shoot that I have to do. I don't want the cameras on this right And the show has to go on. So, I had to replace her. I am devastated for Natalie. I know that she worked for months and months to make this fight happen, and she fought until the last second. Yeah, I did. Bottom line is he never had the fight registered, period. Still pushing the fight. The fight's going on. People are investing in you. I know. And this event is big because it's a charity. And it's gonna happen.